Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I'm really excited to finally get a full review out of the brand new MVP Trail. This is a 10 speed, five glide, minus one turn and a one fade control driver from MVP. We'll be comparing it to a lightweight vision photon, which as far as the kind of straight pushing control driver, I feel like would be a lot of the MVP players option for the specific slot. So I've got a 151 vision photon to compare it to. Then I also have an MVP shot. So I do think it's worth showing you guys these side comparisons. So the Photon and the Detour have some slight differences for sure, but they are quite similar um, top to bottom. They have very similar profiles, but the Photon being just a little bit wider. And then as far as the shock goes, I'm not sure. I think these might be discontinued, but I thought the profile was starkly similar enough to where it's worth comparing them. But the shock being, I believe, an 8-speed and the trail being a 10-speed. But the profiles are very similar, so I figured might as well compare all three. We'll go with the shock first, and then we'll go with the trail, and then we'll go with the photon. We'll go slowest to fastest. Slight hyzer release. That shock is pretty stable, actually. Surprised that didn't flip up at all. Ooh! Now we've got the trail. It's going to be our probably third throw ever with a trail. Slight hyzer release, staying on that hyzer line. So that lets me know it's going to be nice and consistent and stable enough to handle plenty of power. Then we've got the photon. So on a slight hyzer release, not really much hyzer flip going on here. I'm really curious to see how they all fly on a flat release. So let's go grab them. We'll throw them back up the other fairway with a flat release and see if we can get a little bit of turn out of these discs. Now, if you want to get yourself a trail or any other discs, go use my discount code iceberg10 at checkout. You won't get a discount on any MVP or Axiom discs. Um, part of MVP's deal is they don't let anyone provide additional discounts to their discs. But if you buy anything else off the website, you will save 10%. And then on the MVP stuff, it does help me out because I still get credit for the sale. And yeah, it helps build my relationship with Power Grip going forward when you guys use my code. Um, so far on that slight hyzer line, we have the shock coming up the shortest. And we have the photon coming in next. Then we have the trail actually staying in the air quite a bit longer than the other two discs, going about 20 feet farther. So what I'm hoping for out of the trail, when thrown flat, I'm hoping for a small turn and then a controlled fade. When it comes to any disc from that 9 to 11 speed category, we don't want a ton of left to right movement or right to left movement. We want something that's going to get us the distance of a distance driver, but the control of a fairway driver. So you want something that's going to push mostly straight, um, but have enough stability at the end to at least have a controlled flight. So we'll go with the shock, then we'll go with the trail. Then we'll go with the photon. Throw it from over here so you guys can actually see it. We're gonna go nice and flat here. Shock getting a nice tiny bit of hyzer flip at an eight speed, hoping that that gets the straightest flight of the bunch. Now we've got the trail up in the air, nice and flat. Hyzer flipping. But getting a nice little fade at the end, kind of yanked it over to the right a little bit. Now we've got the 151 photon. Again, getting a touch of hyzer flip with a nice and consistent fade at the end. We're going to go grab them, come back the other way. That photon just went impressively far. Again, it is 151, and I do think for most people, lightweight discs will go slightly farther. It's your free pro tip of the day. And then I have to shout out the Berg Sport V4. This is the best disc golf bag on the market for the price. It's an amazing value. I absolutely love that bag. Ice 20 over at bergsdisksports.com will save you 20%. So go get yourself a bag if you haven't checked one out yet. You will not regret the purchase. It's a fantastic bag and we've had tons of amazing reviews. Shock, trail, photon. We're gonna go a little kind of anhyzer this time. We're gonna really test the stability of these things here. Hanging on to a touch of Anheuser through about 80% of the flight 
heard a little bit too low, but actually that shock is a really nice flyer. It's one of those discs that you kind of force it to go straight by putting a little bit of flex on it. But if you throw it on hyzer, it's gonna fly nice and true, and nice and straight for you. All right, trail on a touch of Annie. Oh, that's beautiful. Now it nice and far held the Anheuser angle through, again, right, right around 80% of the flight, but then kind of swung back at the end. And now we'll throw the Photon. I like that trail line a lot. Oh, that Photon is sneaky stable, did not put enough Anheuser on it. All right, let's go gather everything up. I want to throw it one or two more times. So far, I think the trail is the best flyer of the bunch, and it bridges a much needed gap in the MVP lineup. They don't have a ton of super reliable nine to 11 speeds that normal humans are capable of throwing. So people like me and people like you need discs like the trail. Um, let's actually give it a few forehands. I think this is gonna be a money Heiser flip to dead straight forehand disc for me. So let's go forehand everything a few times. <clears throat> Shock, trail, photon. Good time to warm up the flick right here. Wow, that disc is money on the forehand. That shock might, I don't know. I always say everything needs to go into the bag. If I put every disc in the bag I said was gonna go in the bag, I'd have to push two carts just to carry everything. Trail. Man, it's more stable than I'm giving it credit for. And it goes really far. This is a very nice 10 speed. That's a top tier 10 speed all day long. That Photon has a touch more flip up, but again, it's 151 grams. I'm curious to see if the trail of the Photon went farther. All right, number one, we've got the shock right here. And then we've got the Photon, boom, same distance. And then we've got, boom, exact same distance, the trail. All right, we have one more test once and for all to see which one goes the farthest on the forehand line. All right, it's time. We're going with the flex shot, just like Gannon Burr. The flex shot is my favorite shot. Let's see if this, these discs have what it takes to handle the flex line. The shock is a beauty. If you're an MVP fanboy and you've never thrown the, sh the shock, again, it might be out of production, but it's definitely worth checking out. That thing is a beauty of an eight speed. All right, flex trail. I didn't think I'd be out here throwing a flex forehand with it. Sometimes unexpected things happen. Wowee. What a beauty. MVP has absolutely been rocking the flight numbers lately. Then we've got Fission, Oten, Flexin, Birdian. That thing goes. All right, the Photon definitely went way farther than the trail, but the trail is an absolute money control driver. Everybody should have a 10 speed in the bag that they can trust on backhand and forehand. Distance drivers, sometimes they have, if they're super flippy, they go too much turn or they might be too stable and you get too much fade and skip. Shout out to all you amateurs throwing a destroyer. I'm sure that's the kind of flight you're getting out of your 12 speeds. With that being said, the trail is an absolute money disc. And I definitely think it's worth adding one to the bag. If you haven't checked one out yet, go get one over at Power Grip USA. Use my code. You will not save money on that order, but all orders over $70 ship for free. But it definitely helps me out a lot when you guys use my code. Again, furthering my relationship with Power Grip. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.